The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Did someone say easily solo? <laughs> Happy Halloween, and uh, thanks for joining me for another Seven Star Terror Raid for the dozens of us that are still excited about these things. I love them. Please give us Corydon and Miradon soon. And thanks for hanging out for everyone who came for the Night One stream. Let's get into the building strategy. Enjoy, or don't. I'm not a cop. The bridge is all the way back, baby. Our Chelodon is the star of today's video. Why the bridge? Because we're going to use Terrifying Body Press. It's got the ability stamina. Every time it gets hit, its defense raises by stage. Its defense is already super duper high with some EV spread of HP defense and an impish nature. Its uh, defense gets even higher. Full build and strategy in the description, but to remake this 26 HP up, 26 iron, and one protein, why not? Uh, max IVs in everything, that's fine. And now let's see the uh, bridge in action. On turn one, I like to use a little focus energy because after our first turn, no matter what, her alligator is going to negate a charge our Terra Orb. So we'll go back to zero charges either way. So we'll, we'll live through that. We'll get our focus energy. We'll get our critical hits for the entire game. There we go. And then we'll charge our Terra Orb. I prefer to use Rock Smash for that 50% chance to lower the target's defense. If you are feeling a little defensive and you're losing, you can switch it to Breaking Swipe to lower for Alligator's attack. Uh, but if you have an Intimidator, someone to burn it, you definitely won't need it. I like the little more aggressive build to get a little extra damage, some quicker clears, farm it for your resources. So I'm gonna go with Rock Smash. As you can see here, we're taking some damage. You can mix in a heal if need be. We'll start to heal a little bit with our Shell Bell. Every time our stamina is gonna make us take less and less damage. As you, I hope you enjoy my Halloween costume with, with the green screen. I, as you probably already saw it on the previous part of the video, but <laughs> I am the ghost. <laughs> the ghost of easily soloing. <laughs> oh, please give me Corridon and Miridon raids. But okay, we're gonna keep charging our orb with our Rock Smash. We've taken a bit of damage. A critical hit at this point probably would kill us, but it's not going to. Once we terrestrialize, we're gonna do a million damage. We'll heal right up, and our defense is gonna stay up pretty much the whole game. Again, if you are, if you're scared, do you want some extra bulk? Go breaking swipe. But our staple remover, we're good. Now we'll be able to ease to terrestrialize. We want to do that as asap as possible. Because after for alligator puts up the shield and then it negates our stats and abilities, it's going to use Earthquake. Earthquake's super effective to steel types, but not to fighting types. So now at this point, we're going to attack with body press until our stats get negated. Nice damage, beautiful, beautiful. Extra from that critical hit from the focus energy. And with that, we're fully healed and we're pretty much out of danger the entire match. You could get some pretty crazy RNG and crunches and liquidation lowering your defense. But stamina, and then as you see, we're gonna mix in one iron defense when our stats get negated. That's gonna be enough. Uh, check out in the description. I'm gonna have the description of the video as the step-by-step -step guide. It's easy. That's why it's called easily solo. <laughs> Okay, our stats are negated. So what I want to do is I'm going to iron defense here. That's going to make sure that we don't take too much damage. It's going to power up our body press. Because of, of, of course, I forgot to PP max body press. You'll probably want to do that just in case. In my testing so far, it's been fun. Yeah. So now from this point on, just press body press and you will win. So let me know in the comments what Pokemon you are using to easily solo seven star for alligator or beat in a group raid. For those that are, might be scared right now, here, see, look, it's, it's just me. It's just me. It's just me. But the green screen makes me look like a ghost. You don't have to be afraid. It's just Dan. Yeah, turn on your turbo controller. Yeah, go go ahead. I wish I missed the one we could AFK Farm the Academy Ace Tournament with Sylveon for max money. Ever since the epilogue, I've been a broke boy in Scarlet and Violet. 
And okay, our, our A pressing has just about come to an end. We eat these Psychic Fangs. We eat a second attack because it gets aggressive at the end. But even if it hit critical hits every single time, we are pretty much golden. Now our final hits. Our may the sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Oh, incredible. Another easily solo. I want to shake your hand. I want to shake your hand. Once we easily solo for Alligator, the only question left is what Pokeball are you using to catch your seven star for Alligator and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Rip it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using body press on that subscribe button for more Tan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy for Alligator season.